Uh, my name is uh, Stuart Oak. I'm the youth president for the National Farmers Union. The uh, agroecology is hugely important to the next generation of farmers. It's, I think, the only framework, the only sustainable framework out there that will allow us to produce food and feed people into the future in a changing climate and a changing world. My name is Ayla Fenton. I'm a board member of the National Farmers Union and uh, formerly the national youth president. Agroecology is it's basically a holistic proposal for how to change our food system. So it's not just about uh, you know, production practices, like a lot of people talk about ecological agriculture or organics being important, which it, which it is. Um, but the production practices on farms is only one small piece of the change that needs to happen in the food system. And agroecology takes a much broader view of how we need to restructure our markets uh, and restruct, re, like change our culture um, to support a more regenerative and sustainable food system. Farmers are, are reacting to the change in climate already. It's not like a future possibility that we're, we're thinking about. The past several years have been really difficult for farmers in this area. We've gone from, uh, you know, two years ago was a 100 year record drought. Last year was about 200 year record rainfalls, flooding all over Eastern Ontario. Uh, this year is a little bit of both. We've had drought earlier in the year and now flooding like with massive rainfalls in the past couple of weeks. Um, and it's really forcing farmers to change the way that they're doing things, I think. So um, for those of us who are just starting out, uh, we have to accept that this is the, this is the new normal and it's not. we can't necessarily um, only learn from the way that people have been doing things for the past 50 years because that's not necessarily valid anymore in, in our current uh, uh, ecosystem. I think people are responding to it by diversifying. Um, you know, if you lose one crop, it's not your entire income for the year. Not just diversification of crops, but, you know, integrating uh, annual and perennial crops and animals and plants and trees and, uh, and creating systems that more closely mimic nature that are more resilient to, to the more like extreme weather events that we're having these days. So my name is Katie Ward. I'm the uh, National Women's President of the National Farmers Union. I'm a sheep farmer and uh, I grow mixed grains and raise pigs and chickens in eastern Ontario. Um, there's been a lot of ups and downs in terms of weather extremes in the last few years, droughts, um, periods of flooding, um, and it's really interesting to learn more about the, the best way that we can take agroecology and apply that to mitigation and adaptation to climate change going forward. Um, I'm learning a lot myself, um, you know, but there's so many different ways that I can adapt both on my farm as well as to, to help spread that knowledge amongst farmers across Canada uh, through the National Farmers Union.